I'm from the Midwest, a tiny farm town. It's about 4,000 people. Uh, so the fact that I just went to med school alone was pretty crazy. Um, a lot of people kind of stayed in the area. When I was looking at med schools, I had already um, decided that I was strongly interested in plastic surgery. And so when you start looking at good programs and kind of talking to um, plastic surgeons I met through the University of Wisconsin, um, Hopkins came on top numerous times. I really wanted to leave Hopkins with a strong sense of what it takes to succeed as an academic physician. And so I thought a year off would be perfect. There was ample funding um, in a time when funding is scarce, you know, Hopkins found a way. Dr. Andrew Lee had just come to Hopkins. He was a former Hopkins med student, uh, now coming in, becoming the chair of plastic surgery. So it went from division to an actual um, department. And so with him coming and, and bringing in face transplants and hand transplants to Hopkins, I said, this is perfect timing. So I talked with the dean's office and I talked with him. We came up with a great project for me and I was, I was off and running. The match list this year was very impressive. All of us matched to top 10 programs, Northwestern, UCLA, Duke. Um, we had a very, very large number of students applying into internal medicine this year and the majority of them matched into the top three programs. It felt good to see that you know, this new Genes to Society curriculum, how was it going to turn out? And it looks like it turned out, you know, um, students that had something special about them that programs took notice. And so that's a great success for Hopkins. You know, you're this ball of nervous energy and then suddenly you just rip this envelope open and you look down and it's done. You're, you're over that hill, that hill of four to five years. I mean, that's your moment to really kind of feel it and let it sink in. It's just wonderful. I, I, you know, I'm going to be a plastic surgeon and even better, I'm going to be a Duke plastic surgeon. Take your breath.